Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be reacting to Monaskin's gossip music video. I know you guys are gonna be mad. I never watched it. I like to listen to music for the music and not to watch the music videos. I'm not a big music video person. I don't know why. They're just not my thing because I love music and I love film, but they're just neither and both at the same time. I don't know. I've just never been a big fan of music videos. I do love reacting to stuff for you guys. So here we are. I'm gonna react to the gossip music video. I'm gonna get everything set up and then we'll get started. So they have a bunch of lyric videos and then a live performance of Baby Said, which I also haven't watched. Here's gossip. It has 5.8 million views, which is, that's a lot of views. And we have an ad. And we have another ad. Okay, this is sickening. I saw Elvis and I think Post Malone in that. This looks like a, like, airport, like, customs room. It's a weird set. This is an interesting video. I'm not sure what's going on. It really is giving airport vibes, though. Airport, but also, like, business? What are all of these people doing? And also, what are they doing? I wonder if the music video has like any actual meaning to them or if it's just for fun. Like, is this how people react to gossip? Or is it like, you know, kind of like a metaphor of them like being behind the glass and people just like reacting to them? Oh, we're breaking the glass. Okay. <laughs> it's interesting how like the music stopped when they broke the glass. It's like, um, you know, like breaking the fourth wall. So now they're like out in the crowd, that's interesting. This is like, I feel like exactly what happened at their concert, you know, like the crowd surfing and everything. I think that's something that Moniskin's really like, uh, they're a proponent of, like actually interacting with your fans and like a lot of bigger artists don't, you know, do like the crowd surfing thing or whatever anymore. And that's something that they do like every single show. That was certainly an interesting music video. I think it's cool how they were able to do all that in one room. It was like very people driven, not music driven, not set driven. It was like people only. It's interesting. And it is a set here. They're like very clearly breaking the fourth wall. So as usual, I'm going to be cutting out the parts that I have no reaction for because you guys don't have to watch the whole thing. But yeah, that was an interesting music video. Like I said, I'm not normally one who enjoys music videos, but it's interesting because you know, like, the artist had something to do with the music video, so you get to see, like, a little more into, like, their thought process and what the song means to them, so I feel like, obviously, gossip is about gossip, but it's about more than that. It's about, like, interacting with your fans and then, like, knowing what you're doing, but also, like, seeing how people react to, like, stuff that's personal to you. Yeah, that was interesting and I feel like it had a deeper message than just like any other music video because it like connects to the words of the song and that the people are literally just watching them like they're, you know, like caged animals, basically. So yeah, I like that. That was interesting. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the gossip music video, whether you like it or not, or what's your favorite Monoskin music video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.